Okay, I thought you'd like to see this. This is an important safety consideration when working on any high voltage battery pack. Uh, some people call it ghost voltage. We call it isolation faults. And basically, when you have electrolyte leaking from old modules, this is a 2003 Prius, so it's a Gen 1. Um, they are known for leaking electrolyte, which is of course conductive, and it is leaking from the terminals, which are under those covers, uh, down to the case, and so you have voltage leaking, and it can be high voltage, and typically, um, you know, the amount of current is very, very small. And if I put a meter on this, what I'm about to show you right now, I'm gonna go onto the, down there, the main negative uh, battery side of the contactor. That's the positive. And I have these wires on here, which I put on uh, to be able to connect and disconnect a charger and discharge apparatus. One other thing to note, uh, if I can get it here in the light, I don't know if you can see that. There is a wire I put on here, a little alligator clip, and it's going on the shielding because there's supposed to be a piece installed here. <clears throat> see that metal? shiny metal that's supposed to be touching the outer ring there where I have that alligator clip hooked up um, that is actually for the battery management system or as I call it in a Toyota hybrid battery monitoring system um, that's how it can detect isolation faults one of the ways um, so I just have it hooked up there and going down over there to case and made sure that I had at least one bolt installed uh, so that it was getting a good connection to the chassis ground um, Yeah, from the battery pack. So on to this. This is a high voltage test light. And what is it? Can you read it on here? Yeah, I'll read it. It says 500, or what? what is it, 50 to 500 volts? Yeah. Sorry, 60 to 500 volts. AC or DC test light. All right. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. So the car is not on and hasn't been running recently. I just took it off the charger. Um, the safety plug is in right now, and... I've already done this before. If I measured between the battery side main positive and main negative, uh, I was reading, what was it? I can't remember if it was like 60 volts. Anyways, and then if I read from the, uh, or, or sorry, with the plug in, you'd be reading pack voltage. But reading with the plug in from the main positive to the, uh, right here on the case, uh, just to chassis ground. You know, I, I got like a lower number. It wasn't, so, actually it was, um, it was one mod, or sorry, it was a block, two modules. It was like 16 volts, you know? So I knew I'm like, okay, that's that's a pair of modules, one block. Uh, that's, not, that's not a big concern. When I did that, measuring from the negative to the case, I got, about 100 volts and then when I uh, if you keep the meter on it it'll actually bleed it down that voltage will drop if you keep holding it on there it might take a few minutes but there is a re uh, resistor in your meter uh, a very high resistance uh, resistor and uh, anyways if you leave it on there it'll bleed down and then you can come back 5 10 15 minutes later and you can measure it again, and you know it might be a more serious issue. But a lot easier way to do that is to use this 
test light here and uh, if it can light this up that means that there actually is enough amperage there to shock you you know you're talking 100 volts DC um, you know we're only, it only takes a couple hundred milliamps to uh, you know cause some serious harm so <clears throat> let's see if I can do this without shaking or dropping my phone too much Oh, you know what else I should do? Hang on.